We're capable. Capable. Yes, capable. <laughs> Thank you, too. Welcome back. We've got a treat for you now. Behind us is the Bridgewater College Choir, and they're going to sing for us very shortly. But they're one of three local choirs coming together for a national TV first. We're going to eavesdrop on them rehearsing upstairs. I hope. There are 100, 150 young people up there, we think, conducted by Bath Choir Master Grenville Jones. They'll be joining young people across Britain to perform a special Children in Need song live at around 8.30. But that's where we're going to leave you for now. We're going to be here all evening, of course. We'll be popping up during the Children in Need show to let you know what's happening in the West and how much we've raised, really importantly. Yeah, so from all of us here, it's good night. Keep donating and enjoy the Bridgewater College Choir.
Welcome to the Grand Beer in Western Superbear for Children in Need 2011, where we've got about 2,000 people here enjoying themselves with us. And they're raising lots of money for children in need here in the West. The rides are in full swing in the pier, people enjoying themselves. But what better place to hold an event like this, a place that's recovered from adversity, come back stronger, and now filled with fun and laughter, the spirit of the evening here tonight. Well, one of the highlights of this year's live show is a choir, but not just any choir. Three have come together for the first time tonight to take part in a national first. Choirs from around the whole country singing the same song at the same time. Yeah, it is really quite a feat, and it's being led by the choir master, Grenville Jones. They've been rehearsing all afternoon. Excuse me, little choir um, people. Someone who's been involved in the project is Kat from the Bridgewater Choir. Kat, how's it been going for your, uh, for your girls and boys? It's been a fantastic opportunity for them. They've really, really enjoyed being a part of such a big event here. But Well, of course, it's all about raising money for children in need. We'll come back to Alex and see what she's got to say in a second. But it's getting you, the viewers, to donate your hard-earned cash. And taking the calls today for us are Friends Life. And Celia Arbery from Friends Life is here. Celia, what are your colleagues doing at the moment? Uh, we've got 140 staff back at the Friends Life Centre in Bristol just waiting to take your calls. So, you know, pick up the phone and make a donation. That'll be great. They're waiting for you. Yeah, it's a great effort. Now, you've been raising money yourselves as well, haven't you? What have you been doing? Oh, we've done lots of things today. We've had a toddle waddle and an auction and cake sales and dress down. Lots of fun things going on all day. And you've got one of those wonderful massive checks, so hold it up for us here. And you've raised £8,346. That's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, so I'm going to leave this giant check. Excuse me, choir. I'm going to slip around here, and we're going to find Alex. You can borrow my mic, Alex. Can I swap you? Because I think I've just got the curse of the microphones this evening. I'm sorry, Kat, we will come back to you. Now, uh, you go up a little bit and let me find you. This is, of course, Custard, one of the gorillas commissioned by the Bristol Zoo, signed by the Great and Good, and it was bought for £5,250 by this man. He is Nigel Potter. Nigel, why did you buy Custard? To remind my partner when I'm not home what I look like. <laughs> Are you looking after him? Because you know how much I love him, don't you? I'm looking after him just for you. Are you? And uh, this is your daughter, Melissa. Now, Melissa, where does he live? He lives on top of the porch next to my bedroom. On top of the house? Yeah. <laughs> so he must get a lot of attention, doesn't he? Lots of rubbernecking and lots of photographs. So is he going to stay up there for the whole of the winter? I mean, he must be getting a little bit weathered. No, she's coming down tomorrow now. She'll maybe come out in the summer. Did you just say she? She's a she for me. It's a she! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, is this a she? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> now, I'm just going to uh, pop back to Kat because we have just, just got a second. Sorry, we had lost the mic then. Um, so tell us why it means so much to, uh, to your singers. Well, I think um, it's such a fantastic opportunity for them to get with other groups to sing um, a great song, but also for them to have worked with Gareth Malone um, and to be part of a big national. You didn't get to meet Gareth Malone, did you? Why? No. I was on my honeymoon. Ooh. It's a good excuse. <laughs> Will. But they loved it. Yeah, they well, had a great cool. time. For the moment. Don't forget to look out for our local choir here at 8.30. We'll be back just after that. For now, from all of us here at Weston, bye-bye! <laughs>